Hello, there we go. Welcome Hello. to the worst fitness mistake you can make during the holidays. Can we I kind of mumbled talk? over that. Hold on, let me try one more time. <clears throat> the worst fitness mistake during the holidays. There you go. All right. Go can ahead. Can we just talk about how much fun this week's going to be? We could, but I don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> So yes, please inform inform us again. <laughs> no, just just <laughs> everybody else, not okay. me. I know. Well, we're getting together with family. We're gonna have everybody's gonna make their favorite, you know, dish, and we're gonna hang out. And yeah. Play games. I knew that. Try some peanut butter whiskey. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. Well, happy Thanksgiving yeah, to anyone so else excited. who's watching this around this time. Uh, this will be around for all the holidays. So whatever yeah. you're celebrating when you watch this, then happy that. To you. I, I want to hear for, I know there's some people watching live or later, what you're most looking forward to this week for Thanksgiving, or if you're not doing anything for Thanksgiving, maybe for Christmas and just kind of this holiday season. Or if you together. watched it later, let us know what you did yeah, already. Totally. So just hopefully it's not this horrible mistake that I'm about to tell you about. That's how you do a transition. That was smooth. <laughs> Did you have something else you wanted to add? No, let's go for it. You, you <laughs> nailed that one. <laughs> okay. So, the worst fitness mistake during the holidays. So, the holiday season is not really a great time to lose weight. It can definitely be done. Uh, just, it takes a little extra consideration. Oh, we got dogs barking now. Ooh, Ooh. That's exciting. We're just gonna... Let's take bets on whether someone's breaking into our house or if somebody drove by. Wait, we think we need to vote for nothing at all. Yeah, like, that would be what the second one was. It's so hard to do these live videos with a, a dog barking in the house. Yeah, that's okay. So you can lose weight, but, but here's the thing. A lot of people, I feel like, aren't even really necessarily concerned a lot about losing weight during the holidays. They, they just want to enjoy the festivities and full and feel like you're not holding back. Um, so that's totally understandable, too. So whether you do want to continue making progress because uh, you've been consistent and you're like, okay, I, I want to keep going, or if you just don't want the holidays to undo your progress, you're like, okay, I've, I've made some steps. I really would like to at least hang on to that. I don't care if I move forward. Or let's say you haven't been consistent at all, but you just don't want to end up in a worse shape at the end of the holiday season. Whichever one of those you fall into, this common mistake that we're about to tell you, it can get in the way of that. So I'm gonna tell you how to avoid it without missing out on any of the fun of the holiday season. But first we're gonna start with the runner up. So the second worst mistake. <laughs> so as with any competition, funny. is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Megan's never read these. By the way, okay, so we didn't even preface this. We say this normally, but what we're doing is we're going over a blog that I've written. If you'd rather read it, you let us know. We'll send you the link to that. But we go over this, Megan interrupts and... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, interjects. She offers some insight and we go into a little bit more detail with everything, which I actually enjoy that you don't know this stuff because it's fun to see your reactions to all of it. So, okay, anyway, the runner up. The second worst thing that you can do during the holidays, second biggest mistake is, drum roll please. That's the worst <laughs> That's roll ever. Skip the drum roll. <laughs> Trying to follow a strict diet and exercise plan. Oh, there's a worse mistake than that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, okay. so that is really not a good idea to do ever, regardless of the season. <laughs> but the holidays are an especially bad time to test the limits of your willpower for obvious reasons. <laughs> Even if you have the ability to turn down all the yummy goodness that's gonna be around, why? Why would you wanna do that? I would argue that it's actually better for your health to fully participate in everything that's going on and all the social gatherings than uh, with family, friends, whatever, than to sit at home by yourself yeah. or in like a quiet corner of a party watching everybody else eat, feeling just disengaged or lonely at home or like freaking out worrying about calories. I feel like it's healthier mentally. For sure. Totally. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Which is equally as important as any physical thing. Yeah. And, and to be honest, the more likely outcome of trying to stick to some strict thing is that you're just going to be fighting a losing battle all season long. So the harder you try to restrict foods, and beat up your body with intense exercise, 
uh, the easier it becomes to lose control and just get thrown off track. So, I mean, really that's the worst of both worlds because you're going to be killing yourself most days with trying to stick to it, but then you're going to go off, off the rails at parties or even just at home, like on the specific holidays. Um, and, but you won't get to fully enjoy it because it's going to be shadowed and you're going to feel guilty about it or you know, feel like you're doing something wrong and, and your progress is just gonna be non-existent. So you've got, you've got like, I'm working hard, I'm doing nothing and I'm not enjoying the holidays. That self-doubt creeps in. And that's awful. This vicious cycle. But remember, that is just the runner up. It's not the worst mistake you can make. So there's another one. <laughs> this one, it, it's, I know I'm calling it the worst and I feel like it is worse than that, but if anything, it's definitely just more common. So, it, I don't know that it is for sure worse, <laughs> but it is more common. So I feel like it's a bigger mistake that needs to be discussed and is, I mean, ultimately I still think it's worse, but I'll kind of let you guys decide and judge on I'll that. You. Yeah. You can, you can let me know if you agree or disagree. Okay. So <clears throat> first of all, in our house, the worst holiday mistake that you can make mm. is forgetting to set out a glass of scotch and some dark chocolate for Santa. That's really what Santa likes. It, and then we decided two cups, right? Two, two, two cups, cups of scotch. <laughs> two, two glasses of scotch. Yeah. Sorry, uh oh, uh -oh. we got to move the camera again. You can see my blanket. <laughs> but that's the worst holiday mistake in our house. So that's not the worst hol the holiday fitness mistake. That one is, no drum roll, please. Because that's so <laughs> bad. The, the worst mistake you can make during the holidays is not doing anything at all as far as diet, exercise, general health. So would you even go as far as just like n not even having any intention? Yeah. Like, cause even if you're going to do nothing, you're not intentional about doing nothing. Yep. So, so having an intention of what you're, of going, what to you're going to do. Yep. And we're going to give you some specifics on what it is that you can do so you can still enjoy everything. But first, Enjoy everything without keep, those worrying thoughts that we yeah. talked about at the beginning. Yeah, you, you can totally keep it all very simple mm -hmm. and still be working on something or or even choosing... Well, I'm not going to go into that because we'll go into the specifics in a minute. But, but first, I do want to talk about why this mistake, why I think this is actually the worst mistake and why it's particularly harmful. So the cost of not doing anything at all, it has nothing to do with weight gain. So the average person during the holiday, do you remember how many, like, did you just look at it and now you- 1.2 or one, something? 1.3, the average person only- I didn't only, read it. Only 1.3 pounds is during the holiday season is how much Which someone is, gains. It's not even just Thanksgiving, that's the holiday season. Yeah, it's really not a huge deal. Now we could go into that more and talk about how most people end up either not losing that 1.3 <laughs> or how if they do, it takes a really, really, really long time. But that's not the point. That the real cost is that this not doing anything, not being intentional, not being mindful, gives you a real hard shove toward long-term failure. So think about it this way. Our five-year-old, really great at simple math. In fact, she's getting better and better at, at impressively difficult math for a five-year-old. But the point is, even when all she knew was two plus two, we can't just repeat two plus two over and over and over again. Eventually she has to take the next step and take on harder problems in order to get better and improve at math. In the same way, anyone can eat a little bit better and be a little bit more active when it's easy, when it's not the holidays, when it's not busy and crazy. Anyone can do that, but you're not necessarily gonna learn anything from doing it that way. And it, what it happens is it turns into a really destructive pattern that I know we've seen many oh, times. Yeah. You, what happens is you start in January, then some virus hits the family, you're sick, something happens that throws everything off for a while. So you kind of get started again and back in spring. You're like, okay, it's going to be nice. I'm going to do this. And then spring break comes along. You get wrapped up in your plans. You go on a trip, you come home, you're recovering from the trip. Uh, um, and, and then you kind of get off the wagon and then maybe you start again in summer, although everyone knows how crazy summer actually is with all sorts of different things. <laughs> kids are out of school, out of routine, out of routine, yeah. you're busy, you're doing vacations, whatever. So every time you decide to 
start and work on yourself because it's like, okay, this is a good time to do this now. You have to go back to the beginning. Two plus two. Mm -hmm. You're starting at the beginning every single time. You're never building on the progress or moving to that next challenge. This isn't me judging anybody who does this. It's just really important to be honest and recognize that there will always be things that come up all year round Absolutely. that make healthy habits difficult to stick with. So unless you're ready to take action, some sort of action during these busy times, like the holidays, you are not gonna be in the right mindset to be successful later. If you're always just waiting for it to be easy, you're just starting at two plus two every time. Mm. Until you've changed your mindset and, and gone, I know it's the holidays, but I need to work on this. Then you're just getting pushed farther and farther into this pattern where it's going to be difficult to get out of and you're never gonna have long-term success. You've gotta change that mindset or you're just gonna be stuck for it, potentially forever. That's well said. So you, now you can go too far with this which like we talked about that second place runner up mistake, you can do way too much things that are too difficult or things that are just impractical for your life, the things you've got going on, or you can take a more realistic approach. So this is where we're going to talk about some of the specifics. And the, the, if you boil down on this advice, it all comes down to just one thing, have a plan. That's it. Any it type of plan. It doesn't have to be a rigid plan, a strict plan. It shouldn't be. No, it, <laughs> You when don't we have say to plan. It's pretty basic and that's, simple. And that's where we're going to get even more specific about it. But you don't have to count calories. We never really recommend doing that anyway. Um, you don't have to skimp at the holiday get togethers. As long as you have some sort of plan, it does not matter what it is. So here are some, some examples, some specific examples. One, if you already have an exercise program that you're following, don't give it up. Don't go, ah, it's holidays. I'll start again in January but do decide what's realistic for this season. Um, mm -hmm. Should you scale back? Like even if you just do one workout per week, great, plan on doing that one workout per week. That's fine, that's a plan. Uh, could you adjust your program so that you are planning on skipping certain days where you know you're gonna be busy or you're traveling? Um, that's fine too, planning, even if you take a whole week off or more, planning that and going, I know these are the days I'm not gonna be able to do anything, that's gonna be better than accidentally taking two months off because you're just like, ah, it's the holidays. Um, then there are all, a lot of options as far as your workouts and what you can do. Um, but if you, if you don't know and you want help with that, just email me and I'm happy to, if you're like, I, I can only work out this, two days, what should I do? I'm happy to help you, so just shoot me an email. Some other specific ideas. If you're working on eating better, like just better eating habits in general, you could stick with doing that. If you're doing it right, that can potentially be something that continues through the holidays, but maybe just allow some more flexibility on certain days. Mm -hmm. So like, and be specific about what that flexibility is. So on Thanksgiving, can you give some examples? I mean, like what, what would you recommend yeah. for, if they're just working on better eating habits, mm -hmm. what some specific things they can um, do on the day? Well, I know a lot of times like we have, and, and our clients have like just food out all day long. And so um, I have some clients who their goal for the get togethers is just to, every time they eat, they have to get a plate and sit down and be really intentional about what, instead of just grazing all day. And so that could be just something that's a little bit better where they're just more mindful and aware or, you know, you can have the treats, but you only have one plate of, one small plate of treats. Or, you know, whatever it is that you just plan on being intentional about instead of just mindlessly eating. Um, or going, I'm going to enjoy all of it, but I'm going to make sure I fill up on protein and veggies first because mm -hmm. that's what I'm working on. Yeah. I know I need those things, so I'll fill up on that. And then I can still have whatever else I want beyond that, but at least, at least I'm not getting full on all the other stuff first. Yeah. Another thing you can do is like, um, just really enjoy everything you're eating. Just savor every bite, eat slowly, and when you start to feel like you're getting full, just, okay, that's good, I enjoyed it, and it's done. Yeah, so those are all good examples, and you even covered the one, so I was gonna say, if you're trying to lose weight, set a realistic boundary for your indulgences. Like if you're really wanting to go, okay, I still wanna lose some weight during the holidays, great. 
you can still indulge, but just go, like you said, fill the one small plate rather than just constantly going back for more and make it realistic too. Like the, the plate I feel like is a better example than just going, okay, I'm gonna have one cookie and that's it. No, allow a few things, but then, you know, once you finish off that plate and you've had several things, then be done with it. That's only if you actually wanna see some specific weight loss. Otherwise, the other examples you gave are great for just continuing to work on and building those habits. Again, that, the idea is just to have some sort of a plan something that's going to keep your mind in the game so that you're not starting over from the beginning again in January. The other thing is, as if you are working on weight loss, it might just be a good time to shelve that for a minute mm -hmm. and go, I'm not going to work on this, but you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to work out. I know I've got at least a couple days a week where I'm going to work out. So instead of, instead of going, well, I'm not going to try to lose weight. So whatever, forget about it. I'm just not going to think about anything. Let's make a different goal. I'm going to build strength over these next couple months. The holidays are actually a great time to do that because workouts are so much easier when you're not eating for weight loss. Yeah. When you actually have energy because you're putting more food, literally more energy into your body, workouts feel better. You can build up strength and feel really, really good. So that's a good other goal to, to work on. You, you also build muscle, which I know we've talked a ton about in other videos and blogs, but that can actually having more muscle in your body can actually make it easier to lose weight later. Yeah, it does. It, it uh, definitely helps with that. So those are all some specific examples. There are, I mean, there are countless, there's limitless things you could do. But again, whatever you decide, keep it simple, be realistic about it for this time, and have a plan, any type of plan. The other thing, the last thing I want to address is what if you mess up? So what if you make a plan and then like, oh, that didn't work. I completely screwed up. What do you do? So even, even if that does happen, number one, don't give up. <laughs> Again, don't just throw it out the window and go, okay, I'm not going to think about it. Don't put yourself down because of it. Don't start punishing yourself with, by doing crazy extreme things. And don't even just mentally be like, oh, I'm such a terrible person. I can't believe that I messed up again. That's not helpful. Mm -hmm. So instead, use, the, use those failures as an opportun uh, opportunity to learn and, and specifically ask yourself. Take time to do this, by the way. This is not like some philosophical thing where it's like, oh, don't feel bad about you messing up. No, literally stop and ask yourself, why did I fail? Mm. Are you still trying to do too much? Um, does your current plan take away too much from your bigger priorities, like you spending time with family? Um, are you even working on the right things? Like, did you make a goal like, okay, I'm not going to eat added sugar, when really what you need to be working on is getting better sleep mm -hmm. or managing your stress better or eating more protein and veggies so that you're full and don't have as many cravings. Um, just the point is to, to really examine and take the time to ask, why did I mess up in the first place? And, and learn from that. And then even if you get to the new year feeling a few pounds heavier, as long as you never gave up, and even if you messed up all along the way, you're still going to have an easier time ramping back up after the holidays. Because you didn't stop. Because <laughs> you didn't stop. And you're going to be more likely to be successful because of what you learned by asking yourself, okay, why did I mess up? Or... Or even if you didn't mess up, then you're that next step further of like, okay, I've worked on these things and now I'm stronger. I, my metabolism is a little faster because I built up a little muscle or I'm better at eating these protein and veggies. You're going to be a step ahead of getting into January. You're not going to be starting over back at ground zero going two plus two is four. You can actually move beyond that finally. And you're going to have more long-term success. Um, anytime you get busy, because it will be something you worked on when you were busy to begin with. Last bit of kind of tough love here <laughs> is it can be really hard to ask yourself the right questions. Oh yeah. Um, well, it to, in order to properly learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's hard to know what to prioritize with your goals when you're in the middle of that swarming, I should do this, I should feel bad about this, that cycle we talked about earlier. Yeah, and the truth is, there's a really good chance you're not going to be able to do it by yourself. I'm not saying don't try. <laughs> I'm not saying if you're not going to hire a coach, then don't try. Obviously, that's not the message, the opposite message of this. But I also just know there's a 90% chance or more that unless you get help with this, 
you're not going to learn as much. And it's just going to take you longer and, yeah. and more time to figure all of this out. So if you are ready to go into the holiday season, you're ready to turn that mindset around and not start over from the beginning every single time you work on this, then the best way to do it is with help. And we are here to help you. I whether it's us or not, get help. But obviously we're here, you're watching this video, you're listening to it, and so we'd love to help you. If that's something that you wanna do, then let us know, send us a message and, and we'll talk about it and see if you're right, a right fit for our coaching. Do you have something you wanted to say? I was just gonna say, I love coaching clients through the holidays. Like that's actually one of our favorite times to do it because we get to work on so many different things that we don't talk about the rest of the year. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great time, if, especially if you go into it with that right mindset mm -hmm. of like, okay, I'm, I'm not concerned about doing these crazy things that you probably shouldn't be doing anyway, no matter what time of year it is. Then it's fun to see the mindset shift and go, oh yeah, it is possible for me to do this. It's a really good, great place for growth, personal growth. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, I guess that's it for now. Yeah. Um, if, if you, you have, go like ahead. the link to read the blog. Um, just message us or comment on here and we will get it to you. Yep. And if you have questions, leave them in there and we'll answer you either in a future video or personally if you need personal help. Yep. Uh, otherwise, have a great Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays and we will see you next time.